Time to play with some clay. Well, first of all, let me thank everybody that uh, has been commenting on the video that I put up earlier today about uh, the possibility that my channel may be shut down. I don't know. I haven't been told that. I haven't received anything in the email about it uh, from YouTube, so uh, I'm just going by the word and by what one person got. And I'm not going to sweat it until it happens. And then I'll figure out uh, alternative uh, sources of video that I can use. Get up to be 70 years old, <laughs> or older like I am, uh, you see a lot of changes. I mean, good heavens, look what's happening in our government for that matter. I never would have thought about things like what's going on now, the freedoms that are being threatened. But I'm not going to talk about that, that's politics, and uh, I'm not going to condemn anybody for their beliefs in politics. I'm just saying things change. Not always for the better. Anyway, I'm just filling in behind uh, this uh, strapless that he would normally have over his shoulders to hold his uh, quiver on. And uh, I got to make it castable, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. Sorry about the background noise. I think the heater just kicked in. I need to lengthen that bow scabbard. I need to put a armature in there to make it work. I want to come out about that far right there. that I add that extension on I think what I'm going to do is <sighs> cut this robe off right there because I don't like how that looks it doesn't look natural
I'm putting some wrinkles in the uh, soft leather of the uh, bow quiver because it would be loose and would be soft. What I'm uh, doing is I'm bringing out the uh, knife sheath that's on his uh, belt.
the uh, shirts that they wore or they would make would be like a poncho. In other words, it would be maybe a skin that was uh, folded in half and a neck hole was cut out so that they could fit it right down over their body. And uh, the sleeves would be attached to that. And that's what I'm trying to show here is uh, that shirt. But I'm going to try to do the other half of the, uh, the back part of the shirt now. I'm doing it this way so that uh, there's some dramatic So that part of his body is showing underneath it. And when you color a bronze or patina the bronze, those textures and those uh, differences in color uh, really make the uh, subject pop. Let me just review what I've done today, and I'll come back and work on this tomorrow. I've uh, extended the length of uh, the bow quiver quite a bit. I didn't like the, how short it was. Um, I didn't like the uh, view of that blanket, like it was a wing or something. It was kind of weird. And I wanted to bring it down and behind the uh, quiver again that he's been holding it through the night outside of his robe. <coughs> Readjusted that uh, blanket so that it looks like it's been pushed up on. Might do it a little bit more tomorrow. I don't know. The hand I haven't done anything on because every time I do something here I bang on this and so any detail that I would have put in his hand would, would have been lost by now. I've uh, brought out the shirt so that it fills in right behind uh, the scabbard and the bow quiver so that uh, it'll be a little easier to cast. Um, still working on the wrinkles in the shirt. These shirts uh, were made of brain tanned uh, deer hide or if uh, they were up in Canada, the blood uh, or Blackfeet or Pygon warriors, their shirts might have been made of uh, moose hide, which is a lot thicker than deer hide. Deer hide is real thin. And uh, these rain tanned leather shirts, uh, I can't even describe how wonderful they are. Um, they are like felt in their quality because they, uh, you can tell commercial tanned leather real quick because it's shiny on one side and rough on the other. Well, brain tan is rough on both sides and a lot lighter. Uh, it actually breathes. Uh, it, you can actually blow through it. That's how wonderful they are, and in the summertime, they'd be a lot easier, a lot nicer to wear than a heavy uh, commercial tanned leather shirt would be. What I've tried to do is show the knife under the shirt, and uh, I'm going to put detail on the edge of the shirt so it'll separate from the uh, everything else. But. Uh, this just adds a little more interest on this side of the uh, piece. I'll fill in back here. I've got to do some filling in under his loincloth. Uh, there's no need for it to be so empty in there. 
got to figure out how I'm going to do that and make it look uh, okay. Make it look like it's not filled in. Anyway, I brought the uh, these shirts would have, these war shirts would have been short. Uh, some of the early Cat Catlin uh, drawings and Bodmer paintings uh, showed uh, shirts that went clear down to the knees. Those were made out of elk hide, and they were large skins. But uh, that would have been more for show than for battle. You wouldn't want to go into battle with a big, heavy elk hide hanging off your body. More than likely, if he went into battle, he wouldn't be wearing anything anyway. Just a loincloth. But sitting a night watch over the village, he would want to be a little warmer, so he probably would have wore a shirt. I'm going to call it quits right now, and I'll come back tomorrow. And I'm going to keep uploading videos for as long as YouTube lets me. And until I get real, you know, notice personally that I'm not going to worry about it. All right, everybody. Good night. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.